What's up? This is John from John Brands for Photography, and I always get questions about how I work with my Fuji files in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at my process for adding sharpening, grain, and other effects to my Fuji files. So I know everyone hits me up with the whole, John, why aren't you using Capture One? Capture One's better for Fuji files. And I just, I tried to use Capture One and my process in Lightroom is just so steady right now. I'm able to edit weddings in literally like eight to nine hours. So I just, I can't change that workflow. So here's what I do to actually get around warming and other types of effects in Lightroom. So if you're not familiar with warming, Basically, for some odd reason, in Lightroom, whenever you're using sharpening with Fuji files, there's this weird, grainy looking wonkiness that comes up on your files, and that's your worms. You can see here in my files, you get up over like 20 on your sharpening, and basically, it just looks pretty horrible. So because of this, I actually don't do any of my sharpening inside of Lightroom. To get past the worms and keep my photos looking extra crisp, I actually use exposure. I'm currently using Exposure X4, but I know they're up to X5 now, so definitely check them out. There's a link down in the description below that you can go grab this program. It is super, super awesome. So let's go ahead and jump into this process. So I start out by doing all of my editing in Lightroom. If you haven't had a chance to check out my Natural Fills preset, that's what I'm using on all these photos you see here. After I've gone in and edited my photos, made all the exposure changes and everything I want, I actually turned my sharpening all the way down to zero. So no sharpening, no grain while I'm inside of Lightroom. After I'm done editing my photo, then I export it. For my export settings, I want full resolution photos and I set the screen sharpening to low. This way there's going to be a little bit of sharpening added to my photo on export. And what I found is this actually doesn't add worms to the photos, which is weird. I don't understand why the normal sharpening inside of Lightroom will add worms, but the screen sharpening won't. If anybody knows why that is, please leave it down in the comments below because it really is a mystery to me. <laughs> also at the very bottom of my export settings, I choose to open in an additional program, which it will open my exported photos directly into Exposure X4. Once all that is set up, I go ahead and export my photos. After everything is exported, it will immediately open Exposure. You'll see here in Exposure all the JPEGs that I just exported. And then from here, there's a sharpening and grain preset that I created that I add to all of my photos. I also have one for my black and whites that's a little bit more grainy to give them a nice film look. So I go in, I add my preset to all of my different photos, and now my JPEGs are nice and crisp and sharpened and I don't have any of the wonky Fuji worms. Something else that's really cool that I like to do in exposure as well is add a tilt shift look to some of my photos. If I shoot a really dope photo that's super wide, I can actually go into exposure and add a kind of tilt shift look using the bokeh feature. So with bokeh, you go in, you choose the range of where you want your bokeh to be, and then you can add different blur and lens effects to it. So for all of us Fuji folks, who don't have a tilt shift lens yet and please Fuji make a tilt shift lens <laughs> seriously make us a tilt shift lens even just for architecture we need it we really need it but you can see here I can go ahead and add a cool looking tilt shift effect and it actually doesn't look too bad as long as you get the range of where the tilt shift is going to be correct and if you don't blur it too much so definitely keep that in mind whenever you're using exposure there's a lot of cool effects in here and there's a lot of stuff that I actually really don't use too much of. I think I might try and see if I can actually edit photos from the start just in Exposure. But Exposure also has the worminess in Fuji files as well. So I guess Capture One really is the only other way. But I just, I don't have the speed for that. Maybe I'll try it. Let me know in the comments below if I really should try Capture One. So that was a quick look at how I sharpen my Fuji files and get around the worms. Do you think this is too much of a process having to go to two different programs and exporting twice? Do you think I should just switch over to Capture One? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you all like this process and if you do, definitely give Exposure a try. It's in the description again. Definitely check it out, at least trial it. And if you like this information, make sure to hit that thumb and let me know. And any other programs that you wanna see, let me know about as well. I'll make sure to make videos on that. Thank you again for hanging out and subscribing and I'll check y'all next time. All right, peace.